All right, guys, welcome to my coverage of springtime at the Sarge at Sergeant Jasper Park in Hardyville, South Carolina. Start off here on hole 14. Again, this is a very short course in the wipes. Everything's pretty much mid range. Uh, I think I threw a magnolia there, kind of sneak it through on the right side and have a easy little birdie put here, start the rounds. So that's good. Um, next hole, hole 15. We have OB on the right hand side with some water, so um, I kind of slip on the tee pad here and and yank it and open up a little bit so it wasn't a very good tee shot. I'll recover here a little bit with my meteor. Um, I ended up hitting a little platform to have up here and kicking off a little bit so it was a little bit longer par putt than I wanted to have but I was able to sink it on in and nice. move on to the next hole. Hole 16 got me. I had an early release here on my magnolia and it put me in some trouble. Uh, the thing about this course is it's fairly short and easy but if you uh, get off the fairway a lot of times you get in tree jail. Um, so I end up this air ball in this putt, trying to make sure I got it there from putting down heel. And then I'm really frustrated. Um, very easy hole. I end up with a double bogey on, so that's not really going going well. And then the next hole, 17, I kind of yank this one a little bit. So my round is yeah, starting to get some trouble. So I need something good to happen here. So I bust out a forehand, which is unusual for me. And, um, I get it pretty close. I end up hitting the, the, the pole. So that gave me a little bit of confidence to kind of stay apart from being way back there. Um, hole 18 is about the only hole that you can really use a driver on. And even it's kind of narrow. You got water down the left hand side and woods on the right hand side. So you got to keep it pretty much straight in the middle. I threw a wave right there and it had a nice little S curve for me. So I was able to stick it in the middle and just kind of throw a buzz up here to get me kind of close and go ahead and sink this birdie. So getting back on track. Um, sometimes that's what you need, just something to get a positive momentum back to you. So hole 19 is a pretty much straight shot. It kind of goes off to the left at the end, very short. Throw a rot down there that ends up um, sliding up in there. So it's just a little tap in birdie. Hole 20 has got two lanes. I couldn't really decide which way, which way I wanted to go. I took the hyzer route. Um, nice. It's not a big hyzer route. It's pretty much it's a, it's a straight one that you got a hyzer a little bit off of at the end. I got a decent tree nice. fit. And, uh, was able to save birdie here. Hole one is a very short hole. It's like 127 feet, and I just totally mess this up. Um, this is a birdie or die hole for sure. And that was a putt I didn't want to have. I was going back towards the water, so I was very scary. I had a headwind, but I was able to sink it in there. Um, hole two, I thought I had a very good shot here. I hit a late tree at the end I didn't see. Um, otherwise, it would have snuck in there nice. Um, I thought I could make this putt. I just kind of pushed it to the left a little bit. But again, it's another par here. Um, hole three, this is really a forehand hole. I try to turn a, a meter here. I don't get to turn enough. Um, I get stuck in between a couple trees. I still have a put at it, but I couldn't really follow through here, so I couldn't get the, the spin and control that I wanted and it caged out again. This one's a shot to try to turn over my, my Maverick. I turned it too soon and it put me in some tree jail. Um, I didn't really have a shot at all. I somehow snuck it through a bunch of trees and got there to give me a little par putt. It was still kind of obstructed. Um, I thought I could make this putt though, and I ended up going off the band. I was frustrated there, but I tapped it in for a bogey. And this one again, uh, I yanked this one. I'm, I'm in more tree jail, so again, you got to stay on a fairway. Um, I didn't do a very good job of, of driving this first round. It was kind of up and down everywhere. Um, so hole four and five kind of. Kind of messing me up a good bit. I think I got a bug on this one too, yeah. Uh, six is a hotter shot. I threw a destroyer here just because I wanted something that's going to turn quick and I wanted to get a big skip to try to get me up in there. And I really didn't throw it far enough and skip too soon, but I'm close enough where I can throw it up there and, and uh, I should be able to make a par putt. I kind of hit a tree. I was trying to get closer, so it gave me a little longer par putt than I wanted to. Hole seven is just stupid. Uh, it takes almost a, like a, almost a nine degree turn to the right, and uh, it's just not an easy shot for a backhand thrower, even a forehand thrower. I mean, it's just it's, it's weird. Um, I did part both times. Hole eight is kind of much more or less a straight. I throw a a rock here, kind of skips up there. Um, this hole was very muddy. Pretty much had a big mud pit right in front of the, the uh, pin here, so. I was able to see that from birdie barely. Hold nine, throw my magnolia here again. Uh, early release and just 
um, hit the street and puts me in some some more jail. Um, I decided just to kind of pitch out. I didn't really have a shot at a basketball or something I could do. Um, and it's when you couldn't run because it's, it's close to the water behind it. So I just throw it up there and just take the bogey. And just, that's what you got to do. At hole 10, um, I throw a very low shot here with the magnolia. And it skips up there. Um, it gives me a chance at birdie. I was able to sink this and kind of get back on track. So it's birdie, bogey, birdie, bogey. Um, hole 11, I have bad luck here. Um, my rock hits off this tree and goes into the water. I was able to get it back though. Um, but again, that's another bogey. Hole 12, this is a weird, it's an island hole. I, I throw an old Maverick here and I turn it too much and I almost go into water. Um, but I don't really have a shot again. I'm kind of stuck in some areas here. So I'm having to throw a scuba here, so now that's already already um, three shots. And chain out here, so again, that's another double bogey. A stupid short hole. The final hole here, um, hole 13 for me. I throw it up there decently with, with my magnolia and, and kind of hydras in there pretty close to the basket. You had out of bounds on the left hand side with all that water, and there's water surrounding this uh, little island here, so I was happy to get a birdie there. So I'm, I'm tied for uh, 15th right now. I finished even first round. This uh, second round, I'm placing a mixed card with a junior, um, a rec player, and an um, intermediate player. The junior's pretty good, you see him right there. Um, he's 13 years old, and I think he finished 13 under, which could have won direct division. Um, it was fun to kind of play with him, see what he can do. Um, hole 18, again, I throw here. My uh, wave kind of turns over too much. Um, so I'm in the woods, I have to throw a forehand there to kind of get out of it, and uh, at least give me a chance at birdie. I just, I just can't make it. Um, but par par to start the round, so. Here, right here, again, a straight rock shot. Um, I go to the wrong side of the tree this time, and, and it skips to the right instead of the left. And I have a little bit longer uh, birdie putt, and I missed it. I hit the cage a bunch this round, so there's about three or four birds I couldn't make. Um, hole 20, I get a nice little key trick, a key uh, nice. direction here, and, and it kind of helps me out for once. Um, puts me pretty close, so for a birdie. Um, hole one, do a lot better this time job this time and getting it up in there and it gives me a little easy birdie shot. Hole two, I kind of pull this one uh, with my magnolia. I get a uh, better key trick. Tree kick this time and it kind of puts me back in the middle of the fairway but had a weird angle I had to kind of get it in there um, but I was able to save par so I can't complain too much. Hole three, I decided to go forehand this time and I skip it up in there and almost get the ace. But uh, it gives me a little tap in birdie. I try to go to forehand here. Um, I roll my wrist and it just <laughs> it just burns into the ground. It was a terrible shot. I had to laugh at that one. Um, but I have a pretty nice recovery right here with the same disc with the um, insanity. I was able to turn it and sneak it up in there for an easy par. Uh, hole five. I do a better job this time getting my rock down there. Um, Kind of phase out too much to the left, so I'm putting in a very awkward position here, um, but still good enough for par. All right, um, hole six. I pretty much did the same thing I did the first time. I, I kind of shortened off my destroyer, try and get the skip, and almost end up in the exact same spot, and almost the exact same uh, thing happens as far as going up there for par. Hole seven. I take a wider route this time for the big anhyzer. Um, I get further down there, and I have a shot at at, at birdie. But same old, same old, hitting the cage. So I got to do a better job of getting my more nose up. Hole eight, uh, what a bad shot. I just got a, a bad, bad tree kick at the end, trying to keep it low. I didn't do a good job here. My straddle putts, I got to work on those. I don't get much power with those because I don't practice enough. Hole nine, I thought this is looking good and I hit a, a tree very late. Um, otherwise, I probably would have had a birdie on this one. I just had to put my meter up there and just get me close enough so I can get par. I was going to throw a good shot here, a little bit too long, I think, on the skip. Um, it kind of puts me behind a tree again, and I got to work my disc, and I work it too much, and I end up uh, glancing this tree. And I should have been in birdie, too. I just missed that one up. Hole 11 here, I try to keep this one in play this time instead of getting a tree kick into the water, and I sneak it up there. A little bit too long, 
Um, with the slide on the pine straw, but I was able to sink this putt Ooh, nice. from Circle's Edge, so I was happy with that. Hole 12, I decided to change it up and go forehand with the T Bird just to make sure I can um, get an angle on it. And I was able to stick it up there and keep it in bounds and have a, a pretty opportunity here. So, nice. back to back verse kind of gets me going. Um, 13 here, I threw the Magnolia again. I kind of hit it too much to the right. Um, I get a little tree brush here at the end, it kind of helps me out, but otherwise it might have been too long and it skipped into the water. So, it's still kind of it's a weird shot right here, whether or not to run or not, because of the water behind the basket. I threw my Nova there just in case I did miss it. I don't want it to roll away. 14, I have an ace run here. Of course, with the ace runs, if you don't hit them, it goes by about 40 feet. But I still have a chance for birdie. At least it's unobstructed. And I thought I sunk that one. But again, hit the top of the cage. It's, it's killing me. It is killing me. But I'm bogey free right now. Two holes left. So I'm, I'm happy. Um, hole 15, again, you have the out of bounds on the right-hand side. And I threw the insanity here just to kind of make sure it's going to come back left for me. Because for some reason that disc does. I get it down here, but I'm behind some, some big bushes and trees. I have to go over the top. Just to kind of sink it up there with the, with the Nova, make sure it doesn't hit the thing and roll. But I was able to stay apart, so I can't complain too much. Hole 16, I get my revenge, try to get my revenge right here because I was double buggy last time. I have a nice ace run here. Um, so I was feeling good about myself. I thought possibly I could have a birdie shot, but again, I was had another obstructive view here, so I had to kind of stretch out and, and turn it. And I just, I was terrible. I airballed it. And I'm almost having the same putt as I did as the first round, and the same thing happens. I put too high, and I hit the band. So, went from birdie to buggy quick, but I can't complain too much. Again, I finished up 10th, four under, um, so I was happy. As usual, be sure to visit wickacesdg.com for all your disc golf apparel needs, and y'all have a great day, and thanks for watching.